We can always stay a little longer We don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really am Alright, it's a brand new day and today we are headed to St. Paul's um, out, outside the walls and we are also headed to the Coliseum So you guys are tracking Rome has a lot of these ancient ancient fountains all over the city from here a long time ago and they still work and still fresh water now drinking water I haven't tried it but still taste for y'all so we finally made it to St. Paul's um, Basilica my dad is astounded now he's excited so we're gonna give us a little peek and see oh wow okay wow whenever you <laughs> I feel like I'm a Roman right now and I'm walking in and I have like my toga on, like my little robe, you know. Wow, just, wow, I even have gardens in here? Like, you know, let me, let me just show you guys because I know you guys really want to see this. Well, so where are we at right now, Dad? Originally when, when St. Paul was executed, uh, his bones was brought to this place, uh, some of his uh, followers, and he was buried here. And there was a church built uh, also at that time, but it no longer exists because they tore down to build up this uh, basilica. And also a fire des destroyed it, and so they had to rebuild it after the fire. And supposedly his remains are somewhere beneath. And they did find a tomb. Yes, he was executed. So we, was he a Christian martyr? Yes. That's okay, what before was. Constantine made yes. Christianity the religion. Yes. Okay. And his followers, uh, according to history, brought him to this place and 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 buried his remains here. Is that pretty good? Oh, that was perfect, Father. You know what I think is really funny in society and just in the world that some things can be right and some things can be wrong later on. Uh -huh. So for instance, back in ancient Rome, if you were a Christian, you could be burned at the stake, you could be murdered and everything because of the people who were in charge of the country, per se. And then when you get a Roman um, leader named Constantine, who comes back and you know his mother really helps him convert to Christianity, now you're gonna get killed or murdered for not being Christian. So let that be a lesson to all of you guys out there. Whatever you believe in life, don't let someone tell you that you can't do it. Don't let someone tell you that that's not the right thing to do because people in this world create what is right and what is wrong. At one moment, it was bad to be a Christian. Then the next moment, Rome, it is great to be a Christian. So that being said, let's, let's get into seeing the church and seeing more of the grounds and everything. I, I just feel it's an honor to be on these grounds, to be where at some point uh, Paul was here and Definitely, if this is where his remains were placed when he was uh, executed, it just makes him more of a human being to me versus just a spiritual person. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Okay, so now we just checked off the list um, for what my father wanted to see. So one of the big things when you travel with family, you should make sure that everyone in the family is doing something that they want to do at that place, that country, that city, whatever. So my dad, one of the big things is he wanted to come see St. Peter's, excuse me, St. Paul's Basilica, where St. Paul is um, buried and basically what church like they built for him and everything because he's very religious person and human being he's a reverend also so this is the big thing we checked off this morning and in second we're going to go to um go see the coliseum something my mother really wants to go see she's fascinated with just greek architect and just roman architecture and everything so that's that's where we're headed next so i came out here because i wanted to get my dad some free time in there because right now they're having church or mass and you know i can really see on his face he's happy so i'm not trying to be there just standing there whenever i know that i do love it here but it's just not what i want to do so that being said, now we're going to head straight into going to see the Roman Coliseum. Up in the air, right? It's hard to roll you any other way. Okay, right now we're in the Coliseum, the Roman Coliseum. When I tell you guys, it is absolutely packed right now. It is, it is honestly insane. Got my dad right there, got my mother right there, my brother. 
right there. But it took about 10 years to construct the Coliseum. It holds 50,000 people. <laughs> Right now we're heading, where are we headed to right now, Ma? Trevi Fountain. What's the Trevi Fountain? We're gonna find out when we get there. All right, so I we finally made it to Trevi Fountain. But as you guys can see, if you're ever coming here, it is tourist capital. Literally no room to breathe or even just sing. This is actually one of the newest things added to Italy. It was added in the 1800s. Just what glad to be here at the Trevi Fountain. And it looks like everyone else is enjoying their time here as well. Glad to be here with my family. And all oh, of your husband. Me too. With that being said, I am about to exit the scene because this is too many people for my comfort. Way too many tourists for my comfort. Also, so you guys can get a better uh, scene of the actual Trevi Fountain. We're going to cue the B-roll scene right now. Good life, sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and Hi everyone. I'm enjoying Rome today. And I just wanted you to experience this crowd that I'm experiencing. It is awesome. Just take a look how nice and great the people look here. Coming from all corners of the world. Isn't this the best sight you could ever see? Now, what's the name of the fountain again? Trevi Fountain, what's it called, Mom? I believe this fountain is called the Trevi, Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain. Hmm, it brings so many people together. Just wanted to share it with you guys. By people, by bringing people together, he means other people pushing other people out of the way so they can get their shot with their family. And people walking between your shot and people really not coming together. That is what he means by people coming together. And you've just heard from Davion R. West. Okay, you know, at the Trevi Fountain is the largest Baroque fountain in the city and one of the largest fountains in the world. So it's very, very, very popular and is visited by several year round. And you have now just heard from Dr. Dorothy G. West. She's basically the queen of the West family. You know what I mean. When he says basically, he actually means he is the queen. He's not trying to get in trouble. We're not trying to get in trouble with her. Queen, not is, but is the queen. We finally made it back to the hotel. So what we did today, went to see St. Paul's uh, Basilica. We went to see the Roman Colosseum, which honestly, it's deteriorating a lot. It is almost gone, honestly. They've tried to help it by putting up some extra walls and stuff, but it is almost gone. And then lastly, let me just hold this. Lastly, we went to go see the... The new fountain they added, I forgot what it's called, the trivia, the trivia, trivia. This is going to end today's vlog. That being said, ciao. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute, yeah. Hey, would you rather stay right here, make everything